Now we're given the function uh, f of x equals e to the x, and we're going to find an upper bound on the error um, for values of um, x within plus or minus delta, where um, delta here equals 1. So within plus or minus delta of 0. So finding an upper bound on the error is essentially finding an upper bound on the nth derivative of f. And I mean, the reason I say that is uh, because we know that the Taylor-Lagrange theorem for the remainder says that um, remainder is equal to, uh, well, the n plus 1 derivative at some value c over n plus 1 factorial times x minus a to the n plus 1. Here we're centered at 0, so this is just x to the n plus 1. So now we want to make this you know, as, large as, um, as large as possible. So if we notice the, well, first of all, um, f to the n plus 1 is always going to be equal to, um, or the n plus 1 derivative is always going to be equal to uh, e to the x. So uh, this is always going to be equal to, well, just e to the c, x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial. All right, so we want to make this, um, you know, as large as possible. So let's see. Largest the, the term x to the n plus 1 can be is 1. So, and the largest that we know that c is contained in the interval, um, the open interval, negative 1, 1. So, you know, the largest this could be here is e. And largest this can be is, well, um, if x is equal to 1, then that's just equal to 1 over n plus 1 factorial. So this is always less than or equal to that. So this means that uh, upper bound on the error term is the same. So 